face apps. Dear Billy Good Dad, I'd like to encourage you to keep your daughter's face off of those dumb apps where it looks like you you have bunny ears or dumb sunglasses. This is little there is little that can be done to adults now, but these companies are storing faces and cataloging them. What evil will be done with this information? I have no idea. That's why it freaks me out. I can't figure out why this information is worth tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, like, listen, all these that I bring up, okay, there's people who are actually working on it. And like, as crazy as it to hear me talking about it, to actually have people who are literally dealing with the problem. I mean, I think, you know, I don't want to even talk about it because it's too crazy and big. Anyway, someone will say, but Bill, your daughter and the other children's faces are being recorded elsewhere. Yeah, but not in HD, like with all the permission given away by whoever downloads the app. In 20 years, they could say they have time travel and have versions of you talking to yourself and telling you to do crazy shit. And you'll believe it because, you know, they're close to time travel by this point, And the future version of you will look really convincing in whatever video message is sent from the future. Anyway, look it up. Whoa, where the fuck did that go? In 20 years, they could say they have time travel and have versions of you talking to yourself and telling you to do crazy shit. And you'll believe it because, you know, they're close to... T- I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I, I Listen, I'm doing what the fuck I can here. Um, go to mom and pop places as much as you can. And if you can afford solar panels and electric car, I, that's, I bet, other than that, I don't know what you do. And then try to stay off social media and avoid screaming at somebody you don't know because you're not going to change their mind. and You're just going to waste your time. All right, other than that... Keep watching sports or whatever the fuck, uh, sci-fi, whatever the fuck you guys are into. Is is fucking Rob Lowe ever going to age? This fucking guy looks amazing. Um, anyway, heartbroken and disgusted at the same time. Hey, Bill, I'm a 22-year-old female from Massachusetts. Been tuned into your podcast to add a laugh to my day for about a year and a half. I don't know, though. That was just a wild fucking guess. Anyway, I'm writing in on the off chance that you give the urge to this depressing email. I don't want to read a depressing fucking email. All right, I get it. Times are tough out there. All right. I have spoken to my therapist who only states the obvious family members, even my pastor about this, and no one can give me actual advice that seeps into my mind. Oh, so this is your Hail Mary. Okay. Talking to some old guy who can barely read out loud. All right, take this advice at your own risk. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I, I got something to lift your spirits. Here we go. Come on. Play it. Why won't it play? What the fuck happened? I was trying to lift your spirits. It's time. Hey! To Whoa! With your host, Billy Burn. And uh, this melody from somebody else. All right. Okay, here's the deal. I I stick to myself because I don't trust or like people. I find them boring, unsatisfying, and mean overall. I grow bored easily, so just focus on studies, exercising, diet, and extra fucking curriculars like checking out guys no matter how old or young and watching a lot of porn. All right, here we go. This sounds like a Netflix series about a fucking serial killer. I also got my gun license recently. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, one day at yoga, a guy caught my eye. He pursued me and I followed it. I allowed it for the first time at age 22. I've been on dates, but never called for another one or like the guy. Well, this one dominated my every thought and I actually wanted to have sex for the first time. Okay, all right. Oh boy, fast forward 7 months later and we had sex 3 weeks ago. What? Then he slowly started avoiding me at yoga, switch studios and says he feels weird about seeing me. Because it isn't just a hookup or a one-night stand, and he isn't used to having feelings. Oh, boy. Can I tell you something? As a woman, this is, I, I think this is part of you of being with guys in their 20s. That's how we all are. 
You know, we don't know to just say, listen, I just want to bang you. I'm looking to bang. That's what I'm into right now. I don't want to be tied down. I'm attracted to you. I want to bang. I want to fuck your brains out. That's what I, if that's not what you want to do, don't talk to me. That's what you do. And believe it or not, you can fucking be honest with people. And there's some woman out there who also doesn't want to be in a fucking relationship, but she wants to get banged. And then boom, bang, boom, safe sex. Great. And then you leave each other alone. Anyway, I confronted him and he said that I am expecting a relationship from home, which he cannot give because he's too busy with work and he just doesn't like relationships. But wait, he was, he pursued you for seven months. I'm really angry. Well, you should be and worried about him too. I can't focus on myself because of this guy. Where does the gun come into all of this? Oh uh, boy. I can't focus on myself because of this guy. He won't even answer my texts anymore, and I'm making a fool out of myself. I trusted him with my virginity, and he just turned away because he feels something for me. Could you get Nia's lady opinion on this too, as well as your own tough, realistic advice? Thank you, Bill. And I would say go fuck yourself, but honestly, I cannot do to the level of respect I have for you. By the way, he was 30. Oh. Um, all right. Unfortunately, you're not going to go out into the dating world without getting hurt. All right. And in a good way, it's good that you got hurt like this in the beginning. All right. To get it out of the way. All right. And just because you had a bad experience with this person doesn't mean that, you know, every guy's going to be this way. They're not. You just have to find the person, you know, that you should be with, which involves looking Okay, so you got to get back out there. I mean, it's just like it's like finding love is not is the same as trying to make it as a comedian. It's not like you walk on stage and you just know how to do an hour and kill. You got to go. You got to bomb. Everything in life is just getting through bombing. Anything worth having in life is just is is that's how it works. All right. You you have to go through pain in order to uh, get to pleasure, to get to success or whatever the hell that is you want. You got to work. All right. And um, so I don't know. I don't know what your gun license had to do with anything, but please don't, don't do anything other than target shooting or if you want to go hunting. Um, Other than that, uh, I don't want to tell you. Yeah. You met an asshole in a fucking yoga class. And, uh, you know, I don't know. We, we've all met assholes and it's just, it's just, I mean, not, now you got a story. You got a funny story to tell what the fuck you're going to do. And, uh, I would, uh, I just keep it moving. I wouldn't waste any more time thinking about that guy. I mean, if you get outside the fact that, you know, what he did to you, I mean, that guy's pretty pathetic, you know? It could have been worse. You could have actually fucking got into a relationship with him and married the guy and had fucking kids with that asshole. And then he could have left. So you got off easy. All right? Everything's all good. So, I don't know. I hope I'm giving you good advice. You just freaked me out with the gun thing in the beginning. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it really had nothing to do with the story. Um, so I hope I helped you out. Uh, I'm sorry that happened to you. And I just think, uh, you know, shake it off. You know, there, don't shake it off. Allow yourself to go through the emotions of what this guy did to you. It was fucking bullshit and cowardly and all that. And he's old enough. He's fucking old, 30 years old. You shouldn't be out there doing that shit. All right. You shouldn't be out there fucking doing that. Especially if it's your first time you told him that and he still fucking did it. That guy's a piece of shit, and you should rightfully be upset. But none of your being upset should involve your new gun license, if you know what I mean. All right? With that, you know, go out and try to meet a nice person. You, what you're going to do is you're the more you date, the more you're going to be able to pick out fucking assholes. You're going to listen to your gut. That's what's going to happen. That happened to me the other day. I fucking had lunch with somebody, and I just said, to somebody afterwards, how well do you know that person? He said, pretty well. I go, what happens when that when her claws come out? And, she, oh, yeah, she has a temper. But I was like, eh, that's what I thought. That's That was my gut. She answered a couple of fucking questions, and I was like, ooh. 
There's a little fucking a little hot sauce on that. Um, all right. 